Hey guys, Target Cycle on FPV, and I was just about to ship a quad out, and looking over the notes, <coughs> excuse me, I still got a cold, looking over the notes, the customer actually wanted to upgrade his RXSR to access and not downgrade it to ACCST, um, the uh, pre 2.x.x. Uh, X .X. So I have to now go back, I'm gonna go back and upgrade it actually, I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. So luckily, thanks to Sam, she caught that actually before we shipped it out. So let me show you what I'm working with here. Um, let me do this real quick. Okay, so here's the quad that we're working on, and my camera has been all kinds of shifted here, so bear with me a second while I try to get it back. Not really sure what I can do here, but I'll try to get our view of this, this view a little bit better. Hopefully that'll work for now. I'll do all the other adjusting later. All right, so anyway, so what we have here is, here's our RXSR. I'd already installed it. There's a video that, if this video comes out before that one, you'll see the video on... Um, on setting up this Sector 5 V3. Oh, I'll deal with all the camera stuff later. Anyways, uh, so the main thing now is that we need to go uh, to the internet. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. All right, so we're gonna go right here. Let's go to frskyrc.com. And I'm just gonna download the firmware again. And I am gonna be using my uh, X9 Lite to do this job. So let's see if we can get to Free Sky's website. And then let's go to Downloads. <coughs> Very sorry, guys. I cannot shake this cold. Uh, so we're going to go to the 2.4 gigahertz. I think it should come up under ACCXT. Let's do the RXSR right here. Okay, and then you see the firmware options here. So we do have an access firmware. So the ACCST, and then we have access. So we're going to click the access, and we're actually going to go... Uh, so we'll go to 2.1.7. That's going to be a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and download that real quick. Now, hopefully that'll work with my, as a matter of fact, while I'm, I do need to upgrade my radio, but I have, I should have all that on file. So here's what I'm going to do now. Now that it's downloaded, let me go to my downloads for the um, radio, just because I want to make sure that I have the right download for that too. So let's, let me go for the um, Trinus. Let's do an X9 uh, light, and I wonder if they've upgraded that firmware as well. Probably have. So let's do a firmware uh, ISR. I mean, That's what we're looking for. So it's still 2.16, and I'm going to check my radio now. So let me just see what we got here. Uh, so on menu, and then I hit page, 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 page. Go down to modules, uh, and I don't have it set for uh, access. So uh, let me go back to my model page and change this to say access. There we go. Okay, menu, page, 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 page. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my um, ISRM and I'm going to, I think that I have it. So let me just check on my menu and my downloads under firmware and let's go to TX and we're going to go ISRM and I have two dot. 1.6 right here and it looks like it's going to be the same so there's no need to uh, download that file right now so all I'm going to do is while this is going I'm going to flash the internal module so I can get this internal module back up to access ready now while that's going on let's get back to the screen here and we've downloaded so let's go to our downloads folder okay I'm sure I've had this downloaded already I'm going to go ahead and extract this uh, extract all, click extract. Okay, and here it is. There's the file that we need. I'm gonna open it. This is the file that I want right here, right? So now they give you a folder. They've always done this, right? They've always given you a folder when you extract it, and then they give you another folder, which is your subfolder, and then inside that. So you can really just copy the subfolder and the contents from that and bring that over. So I'm going to copy that, but I'm gonna wait. I need to wait for my radio to get done. Uh, so it is updating right now so I'll show you that real quick and then we're just going to go through basically plugging in the USB making this a storage uh, 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 put it in storage mode instead of joystick mode and then from there we'll copy the file over to our folder now normally I would go to OpenTX but I'm really out of time here I want to make sure this thing ships out today so I need to flash it bind it test it and then go all right, so uh, this is the longest part here is just updating the firmware on the ISRM internal module uh, so let me see here. Uh, I guess I could clean up my desk here and get everything else going. 
And then right after this video, we're going to be doing a rapture build, uh, just a frame build. And then, um, guys, that's going to get us almost all caught up. Uh, we've got quite a bit of orders pending for new builds. Um, kind of getting back to that custom work I was talking about, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, so just hang tight. I know if you've been waiting a while, just a little bit longer, and I will be 100% ready. Uh, so I would say by next week. Um, I've had my kids this week, and I definitely was making sure we spent some time with them. And today, we're headed to the lake. So for the next two days, I'm going to be out having fun with the kids, and we'll be back on Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. It has been hell trying to get rid of this cold, but I'm so sorry that I'm coughing in front of you guys. But it's giving me the worst headache, too. It's been two weeks. I've had this now two weeks, and for a while, I wasn't even getting out of bed. It was hurting so bad. Um, okay, so we're almost done here, sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the process so that if you wanna try this at home, this is how you would do it. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Perfect, it's, okay, it's done now. Okay, so it says flash successful, so I'm gonna exit, exit, exit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my USB, I'm gonna plug it in. Uh, make sure, there you go. And it has to be for USB storage or joystick mode, I'm gonna go to storage. And then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a pop-up on my screen here. There will be a drive that comes up and it should pop up here shortly. Kind of shortly. It's coming slowly but surely. Uh, hopefully. Come on. Oh, wait, did it just come up? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so here's my, uh, what? No, 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 no. Not now, stop asking me. Oh, dogs are going crazy. Okay, so here's my new volume. This is the SD card inside. So we're gonna go to our firmware, and then we're gonna see where it's our RX firmware, and you're gonna see the RX, Access RXSR 2.1. Just want to make sure I don't get these all mixed up. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Double click here, go to my subfolder, click copy, come back over, and I'm going to paste this here. Okay, so now I will have the 2.7 version on here. Now I'm just going to safely eject. Oh, wait, you guys can't see that. Sorry, my bad. Um, I apologize. So basically, here, this is what pops up. Okay, and then what I did is I went to my downloads folder uh, right here. Right, and I went, here's the downloads folder, and I went into the subfolder, I found this here, I right clicked on it, clicked copy, then I went to my SD card folder, which is here, uh, not here, but uh, here, let me find it for you, it's going to be, is it here? Yeah, new volume D, and then I went to my firmware, because I have mine organized like this, I went to Free Sky RX firmware, and then I pasted it right here, and I clicked paste, now I've already done this, so it's going to ask, so I'm just going to tell it to skip, but I pasted it right here, or I guess not, there you go. Now when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and do a safe eject. So I'm gonna right click, eject, right click, eject. Okay, at that point, I'm gonna eject this. Now we're gonna go back to the quad. Okay, here's our radio. Now, thankfully, the RXSR is a plug-in receiver uh, and I don't have to directly solder to it. So I can just unplug the wires that are already done. Now I'm gonna plug this into the radio like this and I'm going to plug it in just like that. And this way I don't have to take the whole thing apart. That's the best part. So now I'm just going to go to, pull my menu button down, hit page one time, go to firmware, go to RX firmware, and then you're going to see it right here. There it is. Access RXSR 2.1.7. Click that, and then I'm going to hold that down, and it's going to say flash S port, and click yes. The RXSR is going to start lighting up. You're going to see a progression screen right here, and here we go. So we are now upgrading the firmware. So if you're running an RXSR, it's very easy, right? Because the RXSR has a very small, small plug, uh, to uh, attach now people rip it I used to rip them off and just solder directly but there's no need for that now with all these frames getting bigger and bigger um, so you plug it in and then when you're done you just plug it back in this way now in the future uh, I believe you're going to be able to do OTA on these even though they were access or ACCST to begin with uh, and you don't have to unplug it but for this particular thing you will unplug it I never have tried OTA on an access on a um, uh, RXSR that was initially uh, ACCST um, so I don't know if that is an option that comes with it. Uh, I know that you can put the access protocol on there. I just don't know if the OTA works. It's something I'll just test out. I'm sure some of y'all know. Feel free to chime in. Um, I haven't ever done that before, but we'll check it out. All right, so we're going to be updating. We're almost halfway there. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and organize my files now that I just took. 
So let me go ahead and take that, copy, and usually, like I said, usually I would be doing this with um, OpenTX, uh, but uh, I did not, but I'm still gonna go and put it in my OpenTX folders so that I can get that done. We'll be done. Hey, babe. Hey. Almost done. still updating it's almost done should be ready to go here in just a minute then we're going to bind it okay you'll be able to pack that one up real quickly perfect is everything good we'll be on time today huh? yeah everybody good time mm -hmm. good. i know they're excited to hit the lake i know you are too me too i guess that was what i took out of this build i had an extra one anyway mm -hmm. so i never used it all right, we're almost done. It's going to beep here in just a second. Okay, it's done. So now I'm going to click exit, exit, exit. I will unplug this. I'll plug it from here. I'll plug this one back in, just like that. Okay. Now I've got the bind button uh, right here. So I'm going to leave this out for a second while I power it up. We may see a very short interruption of video feed because, um, actually, you know what? I think that it will power from the flight controller. Let me see if I can get it to do that. And if I can, then I don't need to really add any power to it. So hold on a second. Although that probably is going to be a lot harder for me to do, actually. Yeah, I, I think I'll just use the switch and power it up. Okay, put this here, and plug it to make sure I have the right voltage. Ah, oh, that'll work. Okay. We may have kind of some beeping going on, just because this is set to beep when it doesn't have signal. So I'm just gonna power it up. Okay, it's in bind mode. We've got the yellow and, we've got the red and green set. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my Menu, page, I'm going to go back to uh, register, and it's got the RSSR right there, so we're good, so we're going to hit enter, okay, we're good, all right, now we're going to turn the quad off, and we're going to go to uh, bind, and what it says waiting for RX, and we're going to turn this on, and it's found the RSSR, and we're now bound, okay, and now the beeping should stop. And we're perfect here. So everything else looks great. So now what I'll do is I'll quickly jump into Betaflight just to make sure that we have function. And this will, there'll be no other settings that need to be changed. Let me just find my USB is kind of all over the place here. So let me go do this real quick. And that's how easy it is, guys. It's a piece of cake, really. So let's go ahead and I will share my screen here to show you Betaflight. Okay, and here it goes. And so now we're here and we'll connect. Okay, we're gonna to go to receiver and you can see that we have all of our functions as normal. Okay, so I moved my switch. I don't know if you can see that, but as you can see. And so that's it, we've now completed the update to access and there you go, that's it. So that's pretty much how it goes, guys. I hope that helps you all. If you have any questions, let me know. Please, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate your support on that. Otherwise, guys, as I always say, God bless, be safe, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. I am going to go with my wife and kids, and we are hitting the lake in just a little bit. So we'll talk to you soon, guys. Take care. Peace.